presented by The Deli, located in the Addis Plaza in Hagania. Open 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Hoffaday and welcome back. Now, sommelier David Shoemaker was recently on island, not only to share his knowledge and love for wine, but also as a guest for Hyatt Regency Guam's Wine Lovers and Food Masters series. Here's more. Recently, North Asia Region Brand Ambassador for Treasury Wine Estates, David Shoemaker, was on island to share his unique combination of knowledge, enthusiasm, and passion for wine. My responsibility to the world is to kind of translate the, the complicated wine world into something that's more approachable for everyone. Because um, we make this really hard as an industry sometimes, so I think it's important to, to be able to share it. With more than two decades in the drinks trade, he has established successful beverage programs, wine and beverage lists that have achieved more than 50 awards from international wine media and organizations including Wine Spectator, Wine Enthusiasts, and the China Wine List Awards. Food and wine, you eat and drink together. That's, that's a normal, and there are certain chemicals that balance together. You know, things that are really fresh go great with salty foods, and you know, white wine with fish, and white wine with white meat, you know, it's, it's this whole, and that's important. On the other side, when we drink wine, it's not always about food and wine together. You know, when you go to the store sometimes, you're buying wine, you're sitting in a restaurant, you're buying wine based on, I'm having dinner with my boss, I have a date with my girlfriend, I have a date with my wife or my husband or my boyfriend, I'm with my family, it's an anniversary. You don't always buy wine based on the food. You sometimes buy wine based on the situation. And I think sometimes we miss the fact that we should pair wines with life. I mean, that's, especially in Asia. I think, you know, there's a lot of family style dining in Asia. And, you know, it's important that sometimes you maybe take a white and a red or something that fits the crowd more so than specifically, I'm going to pair white wine with fish. I'm going to pair, you know, this with vegetables and this goes with a steak. Because in Asia, most people don't eat that way. When asked what made him decide to dive into the world of wine, Shoemaker, who was named one of the top 10 sommeliers in China by the drinks business, said, When I was a kid, I always wanted to be a gentleman. And this is really strange, but um, <laughs> I wanted to learn how to, you know, why do I open a door or how I'm supposed to eat in a restaurant or, you know, table manners or, or talking, you know, how to listen as much as I'm speaking. and. Um, to be truthful, I thought it was, as a kid, I watched James Bond and thought it was great that he understood so much about wine. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's great. A 1953 Dom Perignon, well, how do I know? You know? Um, and so I kind of was curious as to, is that possible? You know, can I learn more and how do I do this? While on Guam, Shoemaker held a handful of trainings discussing everything from the history of Treasury Wine Estates to brands like Behringer, Sterling Stags, and Penfolds to key points of what to talk about when selling a wine. Anytime I go to a city, it's important to be able to reach, you know, the people that are bringing the wine in and the people that are trying to sell the wine in the market, but also the people that are actually the end consumer that's enjoying the wine. Um, and being able to take this really, really interesting beverage and make it sound really delicious because it is, and, and you know, a little bit about why it's good. Um, I think we in, in the business, we're guilty of making this very complicated. Shoemaker says sometimes sommeliers and those in the restaurant who are touching the bottles and talking to guests are guilty of scaring consumers of certain aspects of wine. One of the terms that we, we use a lot is oak. And we always talk about oaky wines and oaky Chardonnay and it's French oak and it's American oak and it's um, Slovenian oak and all this really crazy stuff, right? Is it old? Is it new? But if I ask you what oak tastes like, what do you think it tastes like? It's like burnt wood, right? It's wood, right? When was the last time you took a bite out of a table? You know, it's people don't want to eat wood. But when I share information like, whoa, oak tastes like vanilla or it tastes like butterscotch, um, people are like, oh, hang on, I, it's something I want to consume. And, and taking, you know, and even if you read the back labels, and we're guilty of it as, you know, wine critics are guilty of it, we're all guilty that we write, oh, it's oaky because it's easy. Um, but it's important that we share information like, hey, if, if you know it's in a barrel, then you know it, you like the flavor of vanilla, right? Oh, you love it. Okay, try this. He was also a guest at the Wine Lovers and Food Masters series held at the Hyatt Regency Guam, where he got to talk about wine and life to some of the island's wine lovers. If you taste wine with somebody like me, then it helps because I can help. You know, if you tell me, you know, I drink Coca-Cola, but I don't drink Sprite, or I drink coffee, but I don't like cream, but I like sugar, or I peel the skin off my grapes, or I can help guide you because I know the flavors that you enjoy. 
Um, you know, you like vanilla more than chocolate, that type of thing. Um, and then it's easy f at that point for me because that's my job. That's what I'm here to do. However, his advice for those who may be new to wine or perhaps feel overwhelmed by all the varietals and lingo. Try one and two wines side by side. Um, if you want to discover what you like and you want to compare and contrast, don't drink them all. So if, if you're going to try to learn a more wine, have a glass of wine, but maybe don't just drink this one and then get the second glass and the third glass, because, because by the time you get to the third glass one, you're going to be a little dizzy, so you're not going to learn much. But my suggestion would be go to a wine tasting and taste you know, a Sauvignon Blanc from Chateau St. Jean next to a Chardonnay or a Pinot Noir or next to a Pinot Grigio and, and try wine side by side. We have two glasses and you're like, oh, this is Chardonnay, it tastes more like apples, or this is Riesling, it tastes more like wines. And, and, Okay, and then you discover things that you'll find a flavor you like. Try it, spit it out, try it, spit it out, try it, spit it out, and try everything, side by side. And when you find something you really like, then drink that one. Coming up, we have your submissions for Trick or Treat Guam. You're watching In The Mix.